Hello, I am going live. This is the Joseph Vivaldi podcast, and I am very happy that this year would be coming to a wrap. And I'm very happy that it's Christmas. And I would like to give thanks to a few people who have made this podcast um, made this podcast network available without it it would not be possible and usually I don't give a shout out and a thanks well sometimes I do but I'm giving a shout out and thanks to some people. I'd like to thank Sarah and Sierra Bliss. She's helped contribute to a few podcasts. I would like to give a shout out and thanks to my dad, my pops. He helped contribute to some of the podcasts. And I'm very grateful and hopefully we'll uh, get him back to do a few podcasts and maybe we'll do a good family Christmas podcast thing this year. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll, I'll give a, I'll ask, you know, see if I'll be interested and maybe we'll get a family podcast this year for Christmas. Um, he contributed a few podcasts. We're grateful for that. Also, we would like to give a shout out and thanks to my nephew, Eddie Evaldi, who gave that very good podcast one time this year. Um, we would like to give a shout out and thanks to my uh, brother Ed who has helped me this year with my eBay stuff and uh, he uh, he's been a supporter of the network and he uh, he contributed one podcast a while ago which we were grateful for and then he contributed on another podcast so I'd like to give him a shout out and a thanks also we would like to thank Richard Andrew Alkis who is a very good supporter of the network and contributed to many podcasts. Uh, he he has he's got a new book out. I don't have it on hand right now. I'd give a shout out for that, but uh, look for some of his stuff. But uh, in the early days of the network, he did a lot of few podcasts and I heard from him recently he he said Ricky I, I heard from him and he said that he misses doing the podcast um, he was an intricate part of the network we had fun in that period and, uh, you know, we, we did a lot of string podcasts, you know. You know, I don't know how we did it, but, uh, we took care of a lot. We, we developed a lot of great content. And I would like to thank him for that. So, uh, this is just shout out and thanks. I'd like to thank, um, my friend John who uh, has, in the very early days before the network, he uh, 
contributed whatever he can. He contributed his Constantine, and uh, he uh, he he said he'd like to do a podcast sometimes. So we'll see how that goes. Um, we're grateful with whatever he has contributed. He, uh, he was a very intricate part in that, uh, KOA campground, uh, episode. It's like that first time we did it, and there was some kind of magic in the air with the podcast, and it, you know, when things come together, it's like a different setting, you know, things come together, and, uh, even, even if I'm at odds, my other friend, um, yes, who I, uh, ceremoniously fired today, or not today, or this year, but, um, I, I just gotta say, you know, he has helped the best that he can, and, you know, and maybe, you know, we're in two different places, and, you know, he's taking care of whatever he needs to take care of, he doesn't have to worry about, uh, the network stuff or whatever, you know, let him take care of whatever he needs to do to get himself doing what he needs to do and taking care of business. Um, I do appreciate the advice that I did get for him. Um... I know I might have, it's like, I don't know, like I say, it's like, for all acquaintance be forgot, that's what I gotta say, I mean, I, for whatever he contributed, I like to give thanks, so, uh, from... The Joseph Evaldi Network. I wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And next podcast I do, I'm going to... uh, basically give a wrap up of the year and I will leave the end of the podcast promoting two audiobooks of mine that are also on Kindle Finding Christmas Story of Joseph and the newly released Ghost of Jacob Marley uh And, uh, I'll wrap it up right here. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and Happy Holidays. From the Joseph Evaldi Network. He was praying for a miracle in his life. He had been poor and wanted a better life than he had been living. He knew it was going to be another Christmas coming up, and it was the day before Thanksgiving. He was about to leave, and then he bumped into Chris. Joseph said, Ouch! Chris said, Keep your head up. You might miss something. I think I am. It's the holidays again, and I'm in more debt than before. I don't have any hours at work, and my books aren't selling. Chris says, I'm granting you three wishes, and they will be granted Christmas Day. You'll be amazed how much your life would change. Joseph said, doubting Chris's words, I don't believe it will. You're joking. I'm dead serious. Like Joseph witnessed on Christmas, the three wise men presented him with three gifts. 
your name is entitled to these three wishes. One will be granted on Christmas Eve. The other two are on Christmas Day. And your hard work will pay off, despite how much you think. These wishes will make you feel like a child again. I ask you one gift to me, and that you will meet me every Sunday at the coffee house for two hours, your treat. Okay, if these wishes come true, then I'll be true to my part of the gift, even if I doubt it. What are your wishes? Joseph said, You'll never guess what happened. Jen said, What is it now? Joseph said, I ran into a guy who said he would grant me three wishes for Christmas. I don't believe it, though. So you ran into a genie? Well, not exactly, but he said his name was Chris, and he said he wanted to meet me every Sunday leading up to Christmas. And you're going to do it? It doesn't hurt unless my wishes won't be granted. What did you wish for? Joseph's father said, I'll talk more to you later, but today is a day to be thankful. What are you thankful for, Joseph? I'm not sure there is one thing I'm thankful for this year. I had a crappy year. of Ebenezer Scrooge, where he was visited by three ghosts that changed his life. But we don't know the story of his friend Jacob Marley. Jacob was rotting in hell for the horror he had done to others around him, and for what he did to have Scrooge look up to him. So for that we will start with the story where Jacob's story last left off. He wanted to repent for what he did. So he repented, and God granted him a shot. On Christmas Eve, Jacob Marley was told by Archangel Michael that he had to appear to Scrooge as a ghost to his protege and warn him of what was to come. He suffered from his sins for seven years, which will be discussed in the story of Jacob Marley, From Hell to Redemption. From sorrow to heaven, because one man's life is changed, it causes a ripple that will affect many others. This is the story of Jacob Marley. Just as the ghosts appear to Ebenezer, Jacob will appear as a ghost for redemption to people close to his life. God has the final judgment on his soul. Will Jacob be redeemed and go to heaven? This has been the Joseph Vivaldi Podcast. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. Signing out.